What is up my frosty brethren? My name is Arctic and welcome to a brand new episode of Destiny Tips and Tactics. This video will cover week four of Trials of Osiris, which is the shotgunner's dream this week. We have the map Cauldron coming in and uh, you know, this map Cauldron has a very uh, small basically area from one spawn to the other. Get to places really quick, a lot of tight corridors, very condensed rooms. Uh, and that's what makes the engagements so, uh, I would say, CQC heavy, close quarter combat heavy. Uh, and you'll see a lot of folks run into those doors, throwing in nades. So you got to be prepared to either catch a nade to the face or arc bolts or burns. Uh, you got to be very cautious around those nades, especially if you're trying to hold off mid. If you get that alpha side spawn, which is probably the better spawn of the two uh, sides from what I can tell. Alpha spawns closest to middle bridge, which is, allows you to lock down that middle uh, area much faster. You also get, um, because of getting to middle bridge, if you're running uh, you know, a two shotgun, one sniper, that sniper can actually sit at the bridge, underneath the bridge or on top and look down that lane. Now, what we've kind of seen for teams that are trying to run sniper on Cauldron is that they'll actually, especially if they get Bravo spawn, which is red side, uh, they will sit at the spawn and try to snipe you. I actually personally did that. I found it very effective for teams that were running middle bridge. Most players I could out snipe and I was in a safe enough position. If I happened to get snipe headshot or someone was flying around me and they got the trigger uh, fire first, my teammates were typically close enough or within a vicinity to come back, res me, and then we can continue about our business. That being said, you have to be very cautious because this is a shotgun heavy map. If you get a player down, you throw your nades out or you're out of grenades, you have to be cautious about pushing the uh, down ghosts to lock those up because players will res, they'll have the shields and they will have shotguns. Now that wasn't really a big issue with Widow's Court because there are not too many people that I know that can snipe really well CQC. So if you got really close to them, they had their sniper out, you oftentimes killed them and they got caught with their pants down. In this situation, if you push someone, they don't quite get the res, you have to worry about their shotgun, which, you know, for a lot of folks is the go-to gun. So, you know, in CQC, you have to be really cautious about pushing the ghosts. If your group is not organized or they don't have their rushes down, you know, play it so that the other team is pushing you rather than you pushing them. Hold down, especially if you have alpha side, hold down the middle, the uh, overtime uh, point is gonna spawn right at B. So if you have the lockdown in the middle of the map, you, you know the opponent uh, opposing team is going to have to run through one of those doors. You can basically nade out and they're forced to uh, ultimately push you. That is the ultimate end game strategy of this one. If you have alpha side and you're having trouble against the other team, lock down the middle of the map, hold down those nades and wait for them to come through because ultimately that's going to be the end game strategy. Now, if you want to play a little bit more aggressive, a couple good sniping spots, as mentioned, uh, you know, I got some headshots on top of the bridge outside of alpha spawn. Uh, you can get there pretty fast. Although if the, the opposing team is sitting in the spawn, they're probably going to snipe you as you uh, blink up or jump up to the middle bridge. I prefer to actually run down in, underneath the archway on middle bridge. That is the uh, place where I got the most headshots at uh, on the opposing team, especially if they were camping their spawns, which seems to be a frequent thing. Uh, and I rolled with last word because that primary for me is like the anti shotgun. It does really well in CQC. I can hurt people enough before they get to me to finish them with a warlock melee, uh, which is what I mained for our first 9-0 run. So I would highly recommend getting something like that. Bad Juju might work as well, but you want high rate of fire so that as they're coming towards you, you have them damaged enough to finish them off with the melee or in some cases with last word, you can outright kill them as you're backing up and they're either running towards you or sliding or blinking, whatever. Now, if you are having trouble with blink shotgunners, uh, the thing that I often do, if you're caught backing up, you actually end up blinking like they blink on top of you. What I do, and if you can, I know that the, the space on this makes it difficult. As they're blinking up, you run underneath their legs. Now, I haven't had this situation occur right now on Cauldron because there's just not a lot of space where I'm going to get caught like that. Um, you know, my the biggest issue I had was around doorways 
if one of our teammates got down in a doorway, then I would have to be the guy that, because I'm sniping, I would have to be the guy that's like meticulously moving towards their ghost, trying not to get naded and watching out for the shotgun at the same time. So it makes it very difficult in those situations. If you get a teammate down in a doorway, you might just have to play the orb a, a little back or nade out the door and then try to hurry up and grab them. So that's all I got for this week. Plenty more videos as you guys are probably getting used to. Plenty more videos and advice going into this week's uh, map. Hopefully this was helpful for some of you. Remember, alpha side is the good side. So get inside, hold down that middle area if you're struggling. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you've not already. Plenty more tips and tactics on the way for Cauldron. Happy hunting this week and stay frosty. If you like this video, you should probably click on the one down below. That'll take you to another video. You may like it. A little bit about me. I'm a former pro player. I play PC and console, mostly shooters. I also have a gaming podcast. I do tips and tactics, live gameplays. Check out my Twitch. Also, I work in the industry. Why are you not subscribed?